Hi there. If you're watching this, my bet is that you are very interested in professional and personal growth and development. And my topic today is what happens when you've developed yourself and you've changed and people keep seeing you as you used to be. That can be really frustrating. And when I'm working with clients that are wanting to make significant changes in how they engage with other people, and, and their effectiveness, that's, that's always a challenge, is how do people see beyond um, where you used to be? I call this the red parrot effect. And actually I brought my red parrot along for, for a little prop here. But I, I started this when I was out at the Exploratorium Museum in San Francisco. Fabulous science experimental uh, museum. And they have this one exhibit where you stand in front of these this wall that has a red parrot and a, a green parrot on them and you stare at those for 30 seconds and then you move over to another wall and there's an empty cage on that wall it's a white background and when you stand and look at that cage guess what happens that red parrot shows up and so does the green if you were looking at it but I focus on the red and um, and that's what I call the red parrot effect only 30 seconds of looking at the red parrot and your mind has an imprint that stays with it for a reasonable amount of time. And so that's the thing when we have known people for a while or we've had some type of uh, maybe more highly more emotional or intense engagement with somebody, people have an imprint of how you are just like the red parrot. So you've got to do some extra things to make sure that, that people go beyond how you used to be. And so things that I suggest are one, is be overt in your change. Let people know, hey, I know when I, when I had that specific behavior, it's not really what we're about here. And so I am working on changing that. And if you see me out of line, remind me. So that's one thing, is just be really overt about your interest in changing what you're doing. You know, another thing is to make sure if you feel like that old behavior is coming up again, ask the person or people, ask them, is this something you've witnessed with me recently? Or is that something from the past? Because if we've had a history with somebody, a lot of, a lot of times people bring that forward. We are still, you know, working on stuff, issues that have been long, long, long ago. So <clears throat> just check and make sure that that's a current thing that they're experiencing, not something from the past. And the third thing, and probably obvious, is if you can be consistent with that new you and not, not try to slide that back as little as possible, then people will be experiencing that new you over time and that red parrot will be flying out the window. So that's it. I'm Karen Valensic. I am the creator and founder of Spiral Impact. We are all about power with grace in the workspace. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.